Did you know your diesel engine was built to last at least half a million miles? That's right, 500,000 miles of power, reliability, and performance. So why do so many drivers struggle to even hit 100,000 before their engines start showing major problems? The truth is, most diesel owners are killing their engines without even knowing it. They follow bad advice, ignore crucial warnings, and skip the small habits that make the biggest difference. Meanwhile, experienced diesel drivers, guys who have trucks running perfectly after 20 years, follow a set of secrets that keep them on the road while everyone else is stuck paying repair bills. Today, I'm revealing 11 diesel secrets that the pros swear by. Some of them will completely go against what your manual tells you. Some will sound strange, even unnecessary, but they work. And the last one, it won't cost you a dime, yet it could save you over $5,000 in repairs. Let's get started. Secret number 11, always wait for the glow plug light. If you've ever hopped into your diesel on a cold morning, turned the key and fired it up instantly, you might have just shaved years off your engine's life. That little glow plug light, the one that looks like a tiny orange spring, isn't just there for decoration. It's your diesel's version of a spark plug, but instead of making a spark, it heats the combustion chamber so fuel can ignite properly. Here's why that matters. Starting before the glow plug is ready floods your cylinder with unburned fuel. That raw fuel can wash away the thin layer of oil protecting your cylinder walls. Over time, this leads to scoring, misfires, and thick clouds of white smoke. And here's a pro tip most newbies don't know. In cold weather, cycle the glow plug twice before starting. Turn the key, wait for the light to go out, switch it off, and repeat. It only takes an extra 10 seconds, but it ensures the chamber is hot enough for a clean S. Clean starts aren't just good for your engine. They're good for the environment, your battery, and your starter. Experienced drivers often get 150,000 to 200,000 miles out of their glow plugs. Beginners, they're replacing them before 80,000. Secret number 10, don't idle to warm up. For decades, people have said, let your diesel idle to warm it up. Bad advice. Here's the truth. Idling your engine for minutes at a time doesn't warm it efficiently. It just wastes fuel contaminates oil, and creates unnecessary wear. When you idle, diesel burns incompletely, producing soot and raw fuel vapor that ends up in your oil. That thins the oil, meaning less protection for moving parts. Instead, here's the pro method. Glow plug cycle first, like we just talked about. Start the engine and let it idle for no more than 30 seconds. Drive gently, staying under 2000 RPM, until the temperature gauge climbs. Why? Driving under light load warms your engine two to three times faster than idling, and it gets oil moving to critical parts right away. Also, never floor it before the engine is warm. That's the fastest way to kill your turbo. And remember, idling burns about a gallon of diesel per hour. That's money going straight O. Secret number nine, never run the tank near empty. Running on fumes is bad in any vehicle, but in a diesel, it's a recipe for disaster. Diesel fuel is heavier and more prone to contamination. Water, wax, particulates, even bacteria. And where do all those contaminants settle? At the bottom of your tank. When you run low, the fuel pump sucks in that sludge. This clogs injectors, wears out pumps, and can lead to $1,500 repair bills. The fix is simple. Don't let your tank drop below a quarter full. Keeping fuel levels up also reduces condensation inside the tank. Unlike gasoline, diesel doesn't pressurize the tank to push air out, so moisture can build up on the inside walls and drip into the fuel. That water can cause rust, corrosion, and bacterial growth. And here's a little known fact. Many diesel trucks won't perform a DPF regeneration if the tank is too low. So by saving on fuel, you're actually costing yourself in maintenance. Secret number eight, cool the turbo before shutting off turbos are incredible until they fail. And when they do, 
you're looking at $2,000 to $5,000 for a replacement. The most common cause of turbo failure? Shutting the engine off immediately after a heavy drive. Here's the problem. Under load, your turbo can hit 1,700 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt some metals. If you shut down right away, the oil inside the turbo stops moving and literally bakes onto the bearings. That's called coking, and it destroys airflow and lubrication. The solution is simple. After towing, high-speed driving, or steep climbs, let the engine idle for one to three minutes. That's all it takes for coolant and oil to circulate and bring those temperatures down to safe levels. Secret number seven, use the right diesel additives. Gasoline drivers often waste money on miracle fuel additives that don't do much. But diesel, that's a different story. Today's ultra-low sulfur diesel, ULSD, has less natural lubricity than older fuels. That means more friction inside your fuel system, unless you add it back with the right additive. A quality diesel additive can reduce wear on injectors and pumps, boost cetane for smoother performance. Cleaner combustion, prevent diesel gelling in cold weather. Even improve mileage by up to 10%. If you can't get top tier diesel at every fill up, additives become even more important. And in winter, a diesel anti-gel is non-negotiable. One bad cold start can strand you and cost you thousands. Secret number six, keep the turbo intercooler clean. Think of the intercooler as your turbo's air conditioner. It cools the compressed air before it enters the engine, making combustion more efficient. But over time, oil mist and road debris clog it, raising intake air temps by as much as 50 degrees Fahrenheit. That means less oxygen, less power, and more turbo strain. Clean your intercooler every 30,000 to 50,000 miles, or sooner if you notice sluggish acceleration, more smoke, or a strange whistle. A couple hundred dollars in cleaning is cheap compared to a $4,000 replacement. Secret number five, replace air filters frequently. Diesels breathe a lot more air than gas engines. They run on a lean air-fuel ratio, as high as 40 to 1, so a clogged air filter chokes performance and puts extra stress on your turbo. Forget the 12,000 to 15,000 mile guideline in your manual. That's for perfect driving conditions. If you deal with dust, gravel, or city traffic, check your air filter every 3 to 6 months. Knock out debris with compressed air and replace it every year or 12,000 miles at most. A $30 filter could be the difference between a healthy turbo and a $3,000 bill. Secret number four, professional fuel system cleaning. Diesel engines create soot. It's unavoidable. Over time, that soot mixes with varnish and sludge, coating your fuel system and injectors. That's why 60% of power loss complaints in diesels come down to dirty fuel systems. Every 30,000 miles, get a professional clean. Yes, it costs $100 to $500, but it restores performance, boosts mileage by up to 15%, and prevents thousands in injector and turbo damage. Secret number three, complete every DPF regeneration cycle. Ignore this and you might as well start saving for a 2,500 DPF replacement right now. Your diesel's DPF light means soot buildup is clogging the filter. When it comes on, the engine starts a regeneration cycle to burn it off. But here's the catch. You have to keep driving until it finishes, cut it short, and the soot builds up. That can cause back pressure, straining your turbo and engine, and eventually requiring a full replacement. With proper driving, your DPF should last over 100,000 miles. Mess with it, and you could kill it in half that time. Secret number two, change oil based on soot, not miles. Your manual might say every 10,000 miles, but that's for light duty use. If you do city driving, short trips, or towing, soot levels can exceed safe limits in just 3,000 miles. Soot thickens oil, reducing lubrication and grinding away at cams, bearings, and other precision parts. That's why experienced drivers change their oil every 3,000 to 5,000 miles, even with synthetic.
it's a $100 service that can save you a $5,000 engine rebuild. Secret number one, drive it like you stole it. This is the part that surprises people the most. Babying your diesel can kill it. Low RPM, short trips, and never getting up to full operating temperature all lead to carbon buildup, clogged DPFs, and sticky turbos. Once a week, give it an Italian tune-up, 20 minutes at highway speeds, around 70 miles per hour. This bones off carbon, helps DPF regeneration, and keeps your engine breathing freely. It might use a little extra fuel, but it saves thousands in long-term repairs. Follow these 11 diesel secrets, and you could easily double your engine's lifespan. Maybe even hit that half million mile mark. The difference between a diesel that dies early and one that runs for decades isn't luck. It's knowing what to do and doing it consistently. Now you've got the same playbook the pros use.